Hi guys, and welcome to another kit review. So I hope you're all fit and well, and surviving in today's world. Okay, so today we're going to be having a look at a kit from 1996. It is a kit from Academy Minicraft, 148 scale. It is a Lockheed P38J Lightning. Okay. This is um, one of the earlier kit versions of this from Academy. They've um, released at least another two with the same box art, slightly different wording. But this, like I said, is a 1996 kit. So, let's have a look at the box. Beautiful artwork. Okay. Looks like the P-38 has been chased by a Zero, and it has just attacked two Japanese bombers. So, let's have a look on the side. On the side, you'll see beautiful photos of the actual model in uh, very shiny aluminium, which is beautiful. I like that. That's very nice. From here, it looks fairly detailed comprehensive um, decals. Well, let's have a look at the other side and what's on there. So, usual warnings. Six languages. English, French, Korean, Spanish, German, Chinese. Not suitable for use by children under 36 months. No, I wouldn't think so. You wouldn't trust a child under three years to play with your um, P38, would you? I don't think so. Anyway, that's the box. Let's find out what's inside. Put that over there. Instructions. All good. I like that. One bag of... Looks like... Ailerons and... Nose. One bag containing... The decals and also drop tank, ends of the wings, wheels, etc. Another bag containing clear and the body. Yep, juice large halves of the lightning. And one large bag containing the wings and cockpit, rockets, wheel parts. Awesome. That's not too bad. All right, so I'll put those aside. We'll open those in a second. Let me get rid of this. And we'll have a look at the instructions in a sec. Hi, guys. All right, so let's have a look. Instructions. So, this Pura P38J in English gives you a brief rundown of the history of the aircraft. Down here you've got two photos, unfortunately not very clear, of the actual aircraft that is depicted in this kit, which is Pat Pat Maru. Okay? So, this is by flown by Colonel Charles H. MacDonald, one of the outstanding aces of uh, the Pacific War. So that's pretty good. I like that. All right, so let's have a look. All right, this brew layout is on the back. There is a list of parts which are not required. And there's also, and I'll show you this, interesting okay so oops, sorry so this remember this is a 1996 kit so i wouldn't be sending five bucks to minicraft in california but that explains why it says academy minicraft on this particular rebox okay so let's have a look inside so naturally enough as with most aircraft kits 
you start with the cockpit. So unusually though, this does have colour callouts. Black black, olive drab, chromate green with black boxes. Throughout the kit, because it's an older style kit, it actually tells you what colour to paint the parts, which makes it a lot easier. Um, so this kit doesn't specify any paint manufacturer, it just says paint it this colour. So you just match it up with whatever paint manufacturer you use. Right, so let's see. Cockpit goes on the bottom wing, then we get to the wheel wells, then we get to the booms. So there's two of these. Okay, so they're basically exactly the same. All right, let me finish off parts for the engine booms, power booms. All right, and then it all just goes together on the top wing. Front of the engines go on, front of the cockpit, instrument panel decal. Then you've got the rest of it, nose wheel, front of the aircraft, tail, and then you come to the, your armaments. You got rockets, bombs, drop tank, rocket tubes. So literally, you could make this an extremely heavily armed aircraft or leave all that off and just have it as a pursuit interceptor. Uh, your choice, of course. And then final assembly. So there's only seven steps. Nose, cannon, propellers, copper canopy, and that's it. And again, there's your propel blade. Let me show you this close up. I hope you don't, can see that. So it does tell you yellow, flat black, and there are decals that go on your propel blades. So that is a nice bit of um, detail because all um, aircraft propellers no matter what nationality German, French, English, US all had manufacturers marks and warning labels and things like that on them so even for a 48 scale kit putting those on makes it a little bit more detailed and realistic okay so final page um, diagram and paint call out. This is specifically just one P38 for one pilot. Okay, so all over silver, bright aluminium, really, and um, decal placement. So this will be quite an impressive aircraft, actually. Nicely painted out, nicely painted up, a little bit of weathering, it'll be beautiful. So while we're having a look at that, let's have a look at the decals. Now, there are two decal sheets. As you can tell, they're almost exactly the same. This one has the instrument panel, the numbers in black only tail colours and the aircraft's name and specifies right nose. On the other one you've got exactly the same kill marks, tail marks, except okay the numbers are in blue with red shadow and of course your stars for the wings and markings for the aircraft fuel markings etc. Okay so not a great deal of difference except these I don't know if you can really tell it's hard to tell these are actually bigger all right so these are slightly bigger than those so obviously they made a correction 
for um, the decals at some stage. All right, so I'll give you a still of those in a second, and then we'll go on with the sprues. Okay, so time to have a look at the sprues and the most important one, the clear parts. So as I said, this is a 96 kit, but from what I can see, they are, pardon me, still clear and yeah, fairly sharp. No flash on those. So the register is really good. All right, so that's nice for an old kit. Because sometimes old kits they go yellow this is still nicely clear i love it okay so put those aside and the next one we'll look at will be so you've got one and two all right, so we'll put one of those aside, and your basic fuselage tail booms, okay. Nice detail on the tails, all right, panel lines, they're very faint panel lines, all right, so they're not deep, you can see them, you can feel them, but, um, they would be, I think, they would be scale accurate, including the little hinge attachment points, which I like. All right, instead of just a straight line, they've actually put in the little hinges. Let's have a look inside. No detail because you do get a, a canopy, canopy, a cockpit to fit in there. Okay. So that's a blanking for the intake, okay, exhaust. All right, so that's your um, shoe slice halves. Slice halves. Next, I think we'll have a look at the biggest sprue, which is your wings. All right, bottom of the aircraft, top of the aircraft, cockpit. Okay, so detail again. There are panel lines on this, recessed, very crisp. Okay, attachment points are a bit heavy, but shouldn't be too hard to clean up. Interior of the wheel well does have, I think that's just markings for where the parts go. That's as far as the detail is concerned. Top wing, same again, of course, fixed ailerons. Panel lines, you can feel them, so they should come up well under aluminium paint shouldn't be a problem with those yeah so that's nice so I'll give you stills of all this of course as usual so next we'll have a look at why not? Okay, so what you've got here is your cockpit interior. It has bottom sides with very nice detail. Rockets, undercarriage, propeller blades. Okay, so propellers. Yep, see, so there's not much excess mold line on those which is good that's the problem you always find 
is that the mold line on propellers tends to be a bit excessive. Cockpit, interior, quite accurate. Really nice, very sharp. Rockets, there's even detail on the rockets. Wheels, undercarriage. So in all, so far, not much flash, really nice detail. So what's next on the hit list? Next on the hit list. Right, so what we have here okay is your undercarriage doors bombs like that, bomb tails bomb bodies nose interior okay really nice not sure exhausts possibly I have to look that one up so yeah so and again nice detail very fine parts here, but easily removed without breaking. So that's the back. That's the top. Not much flash. Love it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So. The slight problem I have found is it has rubber tyres, okay? Yes, so great idea, right? Rubber tyres on a 40A scale, most unusual, and they are academy ones, okay? Uh, not much in the way of detail on them, but most unusual to have rubber tyres on a 40A scale aircraft. The problem I found with those is that this is the drop tanks, tail, ends of tail, okay, that's your uh, wheel well doors. Unfortunately, the rubber tyres were also in the same bag and they've been sitting here. So there is now, unfortunately, which will take a bit of filling and a bit of sanding to remove and fix a lovely tyre impression on the tail plane. Okay, so maybe this is why they, well, hopefully don't have it anymore because that's just yes one problem with this kit 1996 it's obviously the tires have obviously been sitting there since they went in the bag and they've just made themselves a really nice groove in the tail plane but fill it sand it bit of work it can be fixed anything can be fixed Okay, and what we've got left is three small screws. First one is just the nose of the aircraft. Not much detail with that one. Then you've got the actual snout of the aircraft. Nice detail, nice panel lines, front of the engines. Fairly basic, right? But it'll still paint up okay. And then this one. So basically, engines, these are your rocket tubes for under the wings. 
intakes and that's all that's on that one so that's those three and I'll give you a, a close-up shot of these bits and pieces anyway and um, that's all there is to it So the only disappointment is the rubber tyres which have destroyed the tar plane. Apart from that, this is a really nice looking aircraft. The detail on the panel lines and the detail in the cockpit as well as the full decal sheet to suit this particular pilot. Yep. Can't fault that one one little bit. So, yeah, um, like I said, this is a 1996. I believe there was, it's a rebox of the first Academy uh, P38. They have reissued this several times. So, I can expect that they have at some stage removed the rubber tyres. Okay, anyway, that brings us to the end of this particular kit review. Um, not much more to say. I do like this one. I've always loved P38s. So, hopefully, you've got something from this review. Something to keep an eye out for. And, uh, until next time. Take it easy.